Want help to grow your business? Download Bryn, the world's first business advisor in your pocket. To find out more, visit Bryn.ai or search the App Store today. Well, hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Teach Me Tech. My name is Pete Quist. This guy over here is Ben Jones from Growth Studios. Ben, thanks for joining us again. Cool to be here. We like to wheel in the special guests here at Teach Me Tech. It's always nice to have someone on board. Ben is a bit of an expert when it comes to Instagram and advertising on Instagram for business. And that is why we have you in here today, isn't it? It sure is. Okay. It sure is. Okay, should I we hope tell? So. Okay, let's have a look at what the title is today. We've got How to Get Started with Advertising on Instagram yep. for Business. Now, this is one I'm very excited about, so we should dive in, shouldn't we? Let's get started. Okay. So, two quick things before we get underway. First and foremost, ladies and gentlemen, follow along. This session is highly practical, and it will have, for about half of the episode, we are going to walk you through step by step. If you have that device nearby, you do want to follow along as we go through this process and get started, uh, but pop on a green t-shirt first. Also, ask and share. We talked about hashtags last week using the hashtag Teach Me Tech on your favorite social platform. Get involved with the conversation and help each other out. Tell us what is working, what's not working, uh, and just generally get involved in the community. It's a great way to meet people and be a part of the discussion. But let's have a look at what we're going to cover today. Firstly, we're going to have a quick recap of Instagram and why you should consider it in your business a brief introduction of advertising on Instagram, the difference between advertising on various social platforms, the viral nature of Instagram and how it can affect your business, what you need to get started advertising on Instagram today, how to plan an effective ad that connects with your audience, and finally, I say and finally, but this will be half the episode, a step-by-step -step and step-by-step. -step. We've added an extra letter for free, free of charge. Free and step-by-step -step walkthrough of how to create an ad on Instagram right now. I love that promise. Let's get started, ladies and gentlemen. So uh, we'll kick it off, Ben, with a quick recap of Instagram and why you should consider it in your business. For those of viewers watching at home that didn't catch the first couple of episodes or just want the quick recap and bring them up to speed? Yeah, so we covered off that, you know, Instagram is a mobile only platform. Uh, it can be accessed on pretty much any of the smartphone devices today. And it can be used for all kinds of businesses for all different kinds of reasons. Um, we, we looked at why people are on Instagram um, and the inspirational nature that, uh, you know, people are seeking out. Um, f by using Instagram. And from a business perspective, it's about building relationships. All about building relationships. Um, it's very much about uh, brand awareness and uh, you know, how to interact with the brand out there in the real world. Brilliant. So let's recap very briefly. It's mobile only on your cell phones. It's uh, image based and it is a very social platform, which means mm. it is a two-way conversation. It's not That's a one-way right. conversation. And one of your favorite things is the hashtags. It's a, it's a big platform there for using hashtags. Hashtag. Not too many. The cool kids do that, right? Hashtag. You've got to do it. Yeah. Hashtag. Oh, hashtag. Hashtag teach, te teach me tech. Teach me tech. Yeah. All right. So <laughs> <laughs> let's move on. A brief introduction to advertising on Instagram. And I have a little slide here that I might bring up. So uh, talk me through what's going on here and give us the brief introduction to advertising on Instagram. So when you uh, are on Instagram, you might come across some posts in the feed and they might have that little blue upward fo facing arrow inside of a, a star. It's a sponsored label and that denotes that you know that ad is actually a paid ad. So a lot of people might be watching this on their cell phone or on a tablet and you might not be able to read what's on the screen. That is irrelevant. We just wanted to show you that there's that little blue arrow that you can see on the TV mm. next to us here which indicates paid advertising. That's right. Now as a paid advertiser on Instagram, um, you're just going to appear in that person's feed as anyone else would, aren't you? Yeah, that's right. Okay, why are you so excited about 
advertising on Instagram? Look, number one, it's just so cost effective right now. Um, there's different types of digital advertising. Um, the uh, advertising on Instagram would probably fall into the category of display ads. Um, that is, you know, it's advertising using images and, you know, the reach, the cost effectiveness, the speed of the, the platform and how quickly it's growing and the immediacy. It's just unbeatable. So here's the interesting thing with regards to advertising on Instagram. It is so new. Mm. And as we know with things like Google ads and Facebook ads, you know, when they were new as well, really cost effective. Yep. But as Facebook grew and as the advertising grew, became less cost effective. Still a great option for a lot of businesses. Yes. But less, certainly less cost effective. Yes. But here we have Instagram and instead of having their ads introduced when they were quite small and scaling with the advertising, Instagram is actually quite massive with, you know, what did we say, half a billion users almost, mm. and yet the advertising is only just something that they're integrating. It's just in the infancy stage. Um, you know, we're, we're looking at other uh, ad platforms like AdWords, and, um, you know, we know that they're now becoming much more mature. They're in their more mature stage. But, uh, and that shows when the prices start to... Um, you know, even out, I guess, or, or, or you know, become more stable. But at the moment, Instagram is in its infancy. Uh, businesses are just starting to advertise there. Um, it, essentially, it's almost like an auction and it's cheap. And of course, to summarise, I guess, it's an opportunity for you to pay to have your posts, your Instagram posts appear in someone else's feed where they don't actually follow you. That's right. And you can choose and target. Uh, we call it targeting. So we can choose locations, we can choose interest groups, all kinds of different uh, targeting options to get your ad in front of people that have already indicated that that's part of their interest. And is that something that we're going to touch on with our walkthrough today? I think we might. That would be awesome. So uh, let's take a look the difference between advertising on various social platforms. Again, we kind of jumped the gun there a little bit when I talked about um, uh, Facebook advertising. Obviously, it's not as cost effective as it used to be, but still a lot of opportunity there. Um, what are the other differences between advertising on Instagram and, say, uh, Facebook or, or Twitter? Yeah, look, because Facebook owns Instagram, uh, the advertising on Instagram is done through the same uh, platform that is done that advertising on Facebook is done on. Um, it's a bit different to Twitter, and there's different regulations as well. But I think we have a couple of little uh, mini case studies that we can dive into to look at. Um, yeah, let's do it right a, now. A bit of a difference. Here's the first one. Uh, now, this one is interesting. This is for a telecommunications country, uh, company here in Australia. So this is a telco. They're called uh, Optus. That's this example, yeah? Yeah, that's right. Okay. So let's take a look at this. Uh, this was a video that was posted, uh, obviously, a paid ad. Mm -hmm. And you can see it at the top there. And it's a, it's a video that Ricky Gervais did mm -hmm. um, talking about Optus. And it's very funny. Um, you can probably look it up online. Um, very funny uh, video series of ads. But, you know, when we compared the ad to exactly the same ad that was posted on Facebook. So this is exactly the same video, same text, same ad, yep. same thing. For all intensive purposes, exactly the same, but exactly just one was same. posted on Facebook as an ad, mm -hmm. one was posted on Instagram as a sponsored post. Yep, absolutely. Okay, what, what happened with the two? So just take a look at the number here. On Instagram, Optus, uh, you know, at the time that I looked at these ads, Optus had 40 times more likes on their ad than Facebook. Okay, that's not the interesting part. The interesting part is that statistic below. Yeah, so 40 times more likes, but let's put it in perspective, Pete. They only have 1% of the number of followers on Instagram than they do on Facebook. Okay, the question begs, 40 times more likes on their Instagram ad than on their Facebook ad. And I believe, I'm led to believe that the comments on the Facebook ad weren't, how do we say, as delightful as the ones yeah, on Instagram. Yeah, look, the sentiment, I believe, is the word that you're looking for. Mm, was very different. Was not as joyful as the uh, 
as the Instagram ad received. The Instagram ad you know, clearly shows by the number of likes that it was really well liked. Um, the number of comments is a lot, lot less than Facebook. Um, but when we do jump over to Facebook uh, and have a look and, uh, at the comments, they, they really did reflect a bit of a negative sentiment. Would you say that's generally because, you know, we talked about how Instagram is more inspirational. Would you almost say that there's more of a negative sentiment up front of Facebook users compared to Instagram? Is that too broad a brush? To look, I, th I think it's a, you can't tar Facebook with that brush. Um, I think that, you know, look, this is a telco company and let's face it, they don't always have the best rap. It doesn't matter what country you're in. I spend a lot of time over in the US and uh, I'm not going to you know, name and shame, but um, insert your telco here. Uh, let's be honest, guys, you're not really performing up to scratch when it comes to customer service. And I don't care which one we're talking about. They're uh, all well behind the mark, uh, aren't I they? I mean, the key is you're looking at a service that's known for, let's, let's face it, not being really, really well liked. But when we put them on different platforms, you can see that the sentiment generally on that platform reflects a lot about the user. So the bottom line here is it doesn't necessarily mean they're more negative on Facebook, but it just means that you want to be careful with regards to which platform you're using for your business because uh, like we've said many times over, mm. you want to be connecting with your ideal customer. Where are they? That's are right. they on Instagram or are they on Facebook? That's, that's absolutely right. Okay, let's take a look at uh, the viral nature of Instagram and how it can affect your business. So this is kind of in the same tone really, isn't it? Mm. Yeah, look, it just continues on with this sort of, this idea of, um, you know, looking at the differences between different platforms, but also looking at, you know, the number of posts that uh, some companies have compared to the number of followers. Mm. I mean, we've got an example just here on screen. Yeah, so this is, um, this is a, an account called Lexus Hover, and not long ago, um, you know, Lexus has started to put out a whole bunch of little teaser videos um, about this new invention that they've been working on. Have you heard about it? This is the uh, hoverboard, right? Yeah. Back yeah. to the future style. Ridiculously Outstanding. cool. Outstanding. That's how I arrived today. Yeah, very good. <laughs> no, I wouldn't mind one though. But look, what they did and, and uh, when they launched this actual account, they started to promote these little snippets of what was to come. A real, like little teaser snippets. And, uh, you know, what we can see here is, you know, the account only has 28 posts, but guess how many followers? Well, clearly quite a few. Yeah, just a few. Um, you know, just a tad over 10,000 followers. And, now, and here's a great example of a brand splitting up their Instagram accounts as well, because mm. they know that the people who are going to follow the technology and the hoverboard side of things might not be the people that are interested necessarily in the luxury of a Lexus. Yep. So they're very different. To continue enjoying this presentation, download Bryn, the world's first business advisor in your pocket. To find out more, visit Bryn.ai or search the App Store today.